everyone. As most of you know, iOS 18 has just officially came out in a beta format, and one of the biggest changes was the control center. So I wanted to go and break down some of my favorite tricks and tips that you should definitely take advantage of for your control center, because there's a lot of movement and changes going on this year. Now the first things first, the toggles and everything still work the same. If you want your toggles to look the same as they did before, you have that option too, because these control centers are completely customizable. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is, at the top, you may not even notice this, there's two different buttons. The top has a plus button right here, which allows you to edit your control center, but the top right has a new button, which is a power button. So you can actually just tap onto this power button right there, sometimes it, you have to do it twice, and it will allow you to quickly just power off your phone. So if you need to just quickly power off your phone, let's say you just want to you know, shut it down, or maybe your buttons aren't being responsive, you can just tap there and power off your phone, and that's an option that you have, which is very, very cool. Now going back into your control center, you can also tap onto the top left button right up here to get into your edit button. Now there is a lot of stuff you can do. So first of all, if you want to move around any control center panels, what you can do is hold down on a panel like this and basically move it around. So you have the option of just basically moving it around, but you also have the option of deleting a toggle. So you can just click on the minus button right there to delete it. You can also make certain toggles bigger, as you can see. I can make the toggle bigger just by grabbing that little side icon right there and making it bigger or smaller. So how cool is that? You have the option of doing that. Now, not every toggle can be made bigger, and most toggles will require more than just two spaces, as you can see. Like this one is glitching up, but the flashlight one, I guess maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. So some of them will do it, some of them won't. But again, screen recording is the one that is working for me right now. So that in and of itself is a really cool thing. You can also, you know, basically remove your brightness and sound toggles too. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would recommend keeping these three. So these panels and these two at the bottom, those three I'd probably recommend keeping more so than all the other ones. Now, if you deleted a toggle and you want to bring it back, if you ever want to do that, you can click on the add a control button that's at the bottom right here. And you can basically add a control just like so. So you can go through, find the control that you actually like, and you can basically bring it in and, you know, kind of mess around with it there. So that right there is another really cool option that you basically have as well. And on top of that, if you want to, you can just, let's say I want to bring this Shazam thing in, I can just tap on it and you have that option of bringing it in there. So from a first screen layout, there's a lot of, you know, cool things that you can do there, but you also have different pages. You may not know this, but you can actually swipe down and you have a full other page of toggles that you can mess around with. So you can do the exact same thing we just did before onto this page. So we can click on add a control and we can add all sorts of other controls that we want to on this page as well. And it allows us to basically do a lot more stuff on our phone and just have a lot more you know, customizing, I guess, on our particular device, which is amazing. So you can drag and drop, you can pick whichever ones you want. But on top of that, another big thing is some people may not want an extra page. The, I guess the disadvantage of having multiple pages is if you want to go and basically swipe up quickly out of control center, you won't be able to do that. Like most people will just grab it and just try to swipe it up, but it doesn't work. So if you want to go and actually remove a page, you could just want to delete everything from that page. So you can click on the minus button right up here. And now when you swipe up, that page will not be deleted. And now you can swipe up out of the control center as normal. So I know a lot of people were finding that annoying because they were just, you know, so used to swiping up like on the other iOS version, like on iOS 17, you could just swipe up just like this and it would go away. So before now, when the pages are there, it doesn't work, but now you can remove them and you can just, you know, go from there. So those are my favorite tricks and tips that you should definitely take advantage of on iOS 18 on the control center. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.